Have you ever wondered how you appear in your students' eyes? Are you perceived as a boring teacher to them? Many teachers feel unappreciated by their students. They recognize that their teaching style may be dull, and yet they take no action to change it. Let me ask you another question. Are you ready to transform from a conventional teacher into trailblazer educator of the future? Yes! My name is Dan from whatiscrum.org and get ready to blast off on a mind-blowing adventure to the future of teaching. Forget about just working hard. It's time to teach smart with the power of your mind. Imagine a world where creativity and imagination are your secret weapon. That's what the new industrial revolution is all about. And guess what? School kind of forgets to teach us that. But fear not, in this video, we will crack the code of unlocking your inner super teacher. We'll explore how to thrive in this age of awesome ideas. Plus, there is a special bonus for those who stay tuned. Stick with me until the end, and I will give you my free ebook, Classroom Chaos to Calm Focus, with some super cool ninja tricks for teachers. This resource has the power to revolutionize your teaching approach in just one weekend. So, are you ready to ditch the boring and embrace the epic? Whether you are a teacher who wants to be a learning rock star or someone who just wants to win in the future, this video is your launchpad. So get ready to unlock the age of mind power, unleashing your creativity and level up your teaching game. Let's do this. So let me bring this into a very practical and historical context to say that the industrial revolution that took us out from the agriculture age created the demand for manpower. So the first stage in the industrial revolution saw that advent of factories and steel and railroads because we would enter into the age of mass production, right? And in the age of mass production, what the owners of the means of production needed was manpower. They needed manpower. They rewarded manpower. They needed man labor. They needed hands on deck. They need the muscle. So they need people to lift, to shift, to move, to operate equipment. And so the Industrial Revolution created a huge demand for manpower. However, the digital revolution has created a demand for mind power. So that demand has shifted from manpower to mind power. Now, if you are unaware of this, let me explain that many of the manual jobs that were available 20 or 30 years ago have been replaced by machines, right? Machines can do any form of manual labor. Machines now can make it possible for one man to do what it took 10 or 20 masks do a years ago. Eventually, machines will replace manual labor and we will see that pan out uh, specifically as we move into the next phase of the industrial revolution with the advent of artificial intelligence, AI, and the Internet of Things. The Internet of Things, thereby everything will be connected to the Internet. Cars will all be connected to the Internet. Your fridge will be connected to the internet, every appliance in your home will be connected to the internet. So you can operate it from your phone, and in some cases you can already do that. Even a hospital, surgeries, everything will be connected to the internet. So if they make something new, they'll be internet compatible. So that's where the dawn of that revolution. We are also about to see the advent of something called 6G soon. Right now we are using 4G or 5G, but 6G is going to make 5G seem like a horse and carriage compared to a high-speed train. And so we are at the dawn 
and the new phase of industrial revolution in which machines will pretty much wipe out machines operated by artificial intelligence and the Internet of Things. Different types of reality, like virtual reality and augmented reality, will likely eliminate manual, many manual jobs. And why? Because we are moved from the age of manpower into the age of mind power. But here is the problem. The problem is that imagination and creativity were the very things that the school system was designed to suppress. So let me say this again. Imagination and creativity were the very things that the school system was designed to suppress because it was created to mass produce workers, a slave class and working class, not a thinking class. It was designed to mass produce manpower, people who were job dependent, people who would uh, do as they are told, people who would uh, do without thinking, people who would work on the production line just moving items monotonously from this belt to that belt. When the factory school system was created, it was created to mass produce that kind of worker, a voluntary slave, obedient slave, a hard-working slave, and the last thinking slave. This is what the system was designed to generate. But here are we now in the stage of industrial revolution that requires thinkers, ideas, innovations, creativity, mind power, imagination. Okay? It all requires all of these things, but these are the very things that the system did not teach us. So if the system did not teach us, then guess what? We are going to, to teach us ourselves, okay? We are going to have to wake up, smell the coffee, and teach ourselves how to become creative, imaginative problem solvers and solution-centric innovators. And because this is what the new economy demands, we have transitioned within generation from manpower to mind power. We have transitioned from working with our hands to working with our minds, working with our head. We now need a thinking class who are rich in ideas, imagination and creativity. And if you are part of the thinking class, if you are ready to become the part of the thinking class, that's this free ebook is for you. This free ebook has the power to revolutionize your teaching approach in just one weekend. Okay? And the most lucrative business in the world involves the exchange of ideas. It spans from the caveman documenting the history with paintings on cave walls to the Greek and Roman philosophers to the Bible itself. So the oldest and most lucrative business in the world involves the exchange of ideas. Every invention starts with an idea. Every industry starts with an idea. Every institution starts with an idea. And every item that you can purchase was once an idea in someone's mind. That ideas and imagination are the language of the spiritual world. So every physical thing came out of the spiritual world. Okay? And imagination converts raw materials into human utilities or into useful items. So God give us trees, but he doesn't give us chairs and tables. He give us trees, but imagination and ideas convert trees into chairs and tables. It's ideas and imagination that converts trees into boats. Okay? So you see, there cannot be an item until before the idea. We cannot take a natural resource and convert it into some human utility. The ideas break through barriers. And do you know what breaks through barriers? It's an idea. Okay? And what we want sometimes is not what we need. What we need is an idea, because an idea like a laser, will cut through the barriers. And the great idea will literally transform your circumstances overnight. A great idea can take you from broke to billions in record-breaking time. 
a great idea can change your circumstances very quickly. So I want an ear to hear what the Spirit is saying. I want an ear to hear an idea that breaks through my barriers that shatter the glass ceiling. I need an idea that takes me from where I am to where I belong. Ideas are the true source of civilization and human progress. We, as a human race, have made a lot of progress from savagery to civility. And all of that progress was facilitated by ideas that could be communicated. Communicating ideas has changed the world and has meant that you and I live in a world that, yes, it's dangerous, yes, it's uh, perilous, but it's a lot less dangerous than it used to be. I'm going to show you how to go from a boring teacher to an interesting and engaging teacher. I'm going to show you how to move from your location from down to nothing to up to something. So if you are a teacher or you are aspiring to become one, I'm going to give you some new ideas. I want you to conduct a personal audit. And I want you to look into your life and find something that you have because you are never ever down to nothing. You always have something, even if you don't recognize it something right now. So, you need to notice that small things you possess. It could be talent, it could be a story or an idea. For example, ebook that's in the description of this video called The Classroom Chaos to Call and Focus is an idea I come up with. It's a unique and not available anywhere else on the internet. And I'm combining my knowledge of Agile and Scrum with my teaching skills to create this awesome ebook. And you can check out the link in the video description. So I've packed my ideas and put that ideas into container, which is called ebook. And once it is in container, it can be marketed, it could be sold, but I'm giving it away for free. So let me ask you this question. If you use an iPhone, for example, then can you tell me which would you rather own? Would you rather own an iPhone, the item, or would you rather own the iPhone idea? Because whereas the item may be worth $1,000, the idea is worth billions and billions of dollars. So I would rather own an idea than a simple item. And I challenge you to become a thinker and act on ideas presented in this book. And I'm giving away the concept of Teacher 2.0, not just the ebook itself as an item, but the idea of a Teacher 2.0. So check the details in the description of this video how to get this ebook for free right now. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Oh no no no